Good morning everyone and welcome to another video. It is Tuesday, day 11 of Camp NaNoWriMo and it is my last official morning without the dog. His human is off work today and he is leaving later today so I thought I would sneak in one last trip to the coffee shop to see what I can get done. I haven't written anything the last few days and that hasn't been on purpose. I haven't been trying to do a schedule where I like write one day and then off two days. It's just I've I have not had the energy this week. Week two has kicked my butt. I'm really hoping week three is gonna be better, but we will have to see. I do know the scene that I wanna work on today, so that's going to be helpful. I'm going to continue the scene that I kind of had an epiphany about last time. It's a scene that I have pictured in my head for quite a while. I just wasn't sure where in the story it would fit in. And the epiphany I had last week was, oh, this scene would fit really well here. Now that I'm officially working on the second half of the story, it's like everything has to start coming together and it's all of the tedious work that I've kind of been putting off, but someone's got to do it. And I guess since I'm the author, it has to be me. I am a little irritated with myself because yesterday when I was walking the dog in the morning, I had an idea and it was not for this book. <laughs> it was for a brand new story. And I'm actually really excited about this new story idea that I have, but I don't want to work on it until I'm finished with this one. But that's always what happens, isn't it? It's like whenever you're scrambling for story ideas, you can't think of any. And then when you're trying to focus on just one, you have a million others popping up, trying to tempt you into writing them instead. But this is definitely an idea I know I want to come back to because it's, it's just such a fun one. So the main character is a woman in her 40s and it's set in modern times, it's set in our world and she discovers that she has magical abilities. Because most stories that involve, you know, a character discovering magic, it's all to do with little kids. And I thought, you know what would be fun is if somebody my age or older discovered that they had magic. That would be a lot of fun. Aside from that basic premise, I don't really have any other story points for it, um, which is probably a good thing because I don't plan on writing it right now. <laughs> but I am very much looking forward to writing it once once I'm finished with this book, whenever that's gonna be. So you know what? Let's head to the coffee shop now so I can get it done and start on my new story. And we are back from the coffee shop. When I first got there, it was about 10.30 and now it's just a little after 12. So I was only writing for about an hour and a half and final word count was 16.36. Not bad considering when I sat down to write the scene I had planned on writing, I could not think of a single fucking thing to write. <laughs> I sat down and I, I was just staring at the document for a good five minutes before I finally was like, you know what? It's not happening. <laughs> so I ended up ditching that scene for now. I'll come back to it whenever I have motivation to write it again. And the scene that I ended up working on today was a scene that I was also really excited to work on. It was the scene where the two main characters who have just gotten married discover that they are expecting. And I'm a huge sucker for pregnancy plots and stories. And especially since this one is going to end up playing a larger role in the magical aspect of the story later on, it was a lot of fun to write. This is kind of the chapter that's like the last <laughs> the last like happy moment between these two characters and between all of the characters because after this is kind of when shit hits the fan. So it was a lot of fun to write this scene because I know as the author everything after this is just downhill. <laughs> There's gonna be a war that breaks out. There's gonna be some backstabbing and betrayal. There's gonna be kidnapping. There's gonna be some near-death experiences. So it was nice to write this sweet little moment between the two main characters before <laughs> before all help pretty much breaks loose. I did not end up finishing the scene that I was working on today. Um, I think I'll save that for myself for tomorrow. That or I may end up writing some of it tonight because I know going forward I'm going to have to be writing at the house that I'm house sitting. So I might as well start tonight. <laughs> I have kind of scoped out a little spot for myself in one corner of the house that I think will be a great little like writing nook and I'll just make my coffee myself and plot myself down and hopefully get some writing done. But that is going to be it from me for day 11 of Camp NaNoWriMo. Let me know how you guys are progressing in your Camp Nano goals in the comments down below. Like and subscribe if you have not already and I will see you guys in the next video.
طيب 